Welcome back to Miami Dolphins franchise. This is week 12 away in Cleveland versus the Cleveland Browns. Obviously, we're not going to play anybody else in Cleveland. But I want to show you guys some news stories. And that mainly revolves around the NFL draft. Two draft stories worth noting. Maurice Breland has lost his mojo, turning out to be not nearly the shutdown DB he seemed to be. And not many more promising D-line prospects than Anthony Marsh. Teams are lining up to grab him in the NFL draft. I want to look at scouting this episode. Do a little bit of that. We're coming off of a huge win. And um, let's go ahead and check out the D-line. Is he a defensive tackle? He is not. He's not a right end. So he must be a left end. Anthony Marsh out of Nebraska. Looks to be pretty good. He's a speed rusher. 23 years of age. We could definitely use some upgrade on the edge. Jalen Garner's not terrible, but not great. Jeffrey Lang's okay. Never have nearly enough scouting points, man. I always want more. So I'll tell you what. We do have some first round picks. Number second, number four, number six projected at the moment. Pretty good. And uh, Denario Johnson out of Bama looks good, but Alonzo Wood out of ASU looks great. Only 21, A minus power move, B plus block shed, B plus pursuit. Really, really like him as a potential draft pick for us. And uh, Lawrence Ross, also potential QB we could go after. Alonzo Wood is someone I really, really want at this moment. Things could change, but he's definitely on my board and he's very high on it. But we got some upgrades to make as well. Minka Fitzpatrick. What do we want him to get better in? He's good. He's okay. I think I want his zone coverage to go up, so I'm absolutely going to do zone here. Might not make his overall change, but hopefully zone coverage gets a big boost. Plus two. I like that. That's going to be in the next threshold. Mike Kosicki with one. I think I'm going to continue to work on his route running overall. He can't run block, but sometimes you can't. So vertical threat, maybe? He goes up to an 81 overall. And... Um, Still looking pretty good. Plus one run block is not bad. Plus one deep route running, plus one trucking, plus two short route running, plus two medium route running. Overall, just becoming a more balanced tight end uh, as a receiver. Kenyon Drake, who's injured. If you guys saw that, he tore his shoulder. He's out for four weeks. What is his injury? Can I see that? 86? He gets injured every game. But I think we'll go into elusive back again, get him up into the 80s. Season 80 overall now. Plus two break tackle could be big. I like that. Mad Hawk. Uh, might as well just go power. We are the best punter on YouTube, so we might as well uh, continue work on that. Christian Wilkins, of course. First round draft pick out of uh, Clemson. At number 13 overall. I want him to be a more dominant power rusher. So we're going to keep going into that. Feed him that way. Give me big power moves. Plus three. That's huge. There we go, baby. And then Josh Rosen's a big one. I still want to go into th uh, strong arm. I need plus throw power, man. Show me something, Rosen. Plus one throw power. There we go. We're getting better. Maurice Smith, who's been great for us. I think we're going to go into zone coverage for him. So he gets his zone upgrade. Give me plus three would be sick. Plus two, but plus three pursuit. I like that. And then Jason Sanders will go into a power. And it's a very rare chance for kick power upgrade. We won't get it. It's going to be awareness, but that's cool. Isaiah Prince can get auto-upgraded because he kind of matters less. But let's go into Cleveland and see if we can beat the 8 and 2 Browns. They're at 76 overall. They're going to be a lot better than us. We'll see how we manage. All right, here we go. Ready to kick off in Cleveland. To start week 13, Hawk is the punter. Or the kickoff specialist, but he is a punter as well. <laughs> and uh, Antonio Callaway will take a knee. And things are officially underway here in Cleveland. And I'm losing my voice a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe you're going to get a very, very slight raspy bangle in this one. Jerome Baker back and healthy for this one. Like to see that. Oh, they're going to take a shot. Play one for Odell. Bobby McCain just got annihilated. And then Minko somehow can't wrap up. Uh, I'm going to match up Xavier and Howard with Odell every play. Holy, man. Nine seconds again. This seems familiar, but we did win last game where the same stuff happened. We just get crushed over the top sometimes. The all-white unis are nice. Might have to bring some throwbacks out eventually. That is not this week, though, obviously. But the all-whites, I love. So, 
Kalen Balaj, of course, RB1 with the injury to Kenyon Drake. And we're going to bounce it outside. Kenyon Drake, big stiff arm. Can't quite get the first down, though. Actually, he might have. He did. Okay, never mind. Second and eight. I think his sickie's open. There we go. First down. Big tight end uh, gets us converting. There, I mean, I want triangle here. It's a long release. Ah! I should have thrown it away, I guess. It was just, it was open. I, I wanted it. Come on, Rosen. We're going to take a shot here. It's a one-on-one -on -one going at Denzel Ward. Alan Hearns, obviously he doesn't make the catch. It's Alan Hearns. I meant to bench him for Preston Williams at the start of this episode. I forgot, but that's a retroactive change being made. Preston Williams comes to play. Alan Hearns is a detriment to the rest of the team. So he is out of here. Alan Hearns is still out here. Are you kidding me? Get him out. Third and 22. That's as open as anything is going to be. Uh, it's a missed throw, clearly. Maybe something else was open backside. I didn't really look. But uh, let's hope we can pin him with a punt. Matt Hawk. I've been kind of off my punting game recently. But uh, please give me a bounce. Oh my goodness. It's a Bengal bounce if I've ever seen one. On the corner. Nearly kissing the pylon. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, what a punt though. Baker has the ball in his own end zone. It's a run up the middle. Ah, it's Kareem Hunt. He's going to be good. Third and four. Let's play some good defense, man. Let's get it going. Oh, I've been fooled. I'm going to try to catch up. Jerome Baker's got speed. They're going deep down the field. Maurice Smith, make a play on the ball. Oh, no. Maurice. Baker's two for two for 136. Oh, no. I was convinced Maurice Smith was going to make a play on the football there. He didn't really. It's an RPO. I don't really know what Bobby McCain's doing. That might, that's Eric Rowe, actually, but still. It might as well be the same guy. They both suck. Are we going to break tackles there? Might as well. Every time Baker throws a ball, it should be a touchdown. I agree. Uh, yeah, I mean, I went for a hit stick, and then we didn't wrap up otherwise. It's a bad combo. 14 nothing early. This one, I mean, we knew it would be tough. I didn't know it would be quite this tough. There we go. Devontae Parker. We had, like, one-on-one -on -one down that right side. I just decided not to be ridiculous for once and just give it to Devontae Parker on the check down. And I think it was the better decision, if I'm honest. Devontae Parker again. Keeps getting open underneath. I love it. It's Devontae Parker's year, man. We just got to make it work. This is a blitz. We got Preston Williams out here. We might be able to burn. I need Kalen Balazs to block. Honestly, Gasicki should block. I'm just looking. Gasicki's going to block. I'm just looking on that left side. I think a slant would be good. Slant, streak, post. Somebody's going to be open. It was the slant. I'm throwing it up to Preston Williams. Nearly comes down with it. Second and 10. One-on-one. -on -one. Alan Hearns. Not going to catch it, obviously. We just took two deep shots in a row. Probably not ideal after the first one didn't work. And it looks like they're blitzing again. Maybe Jakeem Grant gets open. Maybe I have a second. Let's slant Preston Williams on the backside. And if he gets open when they blitz, he does. Preston Williams holds on. This is go for it territory. It's fourth and one. It's a longer field goal. I, I still like the read there, man. Just didn't happen to work out completely as well as I wanted it to. Do I run the ball with Kalen Balaj? I think we go for it. Just hopefully that edge rusher doesn't come backside and, and shut this down. But Balaj gets in there. Tell me that's a first down. The clock is... Oh, injury timeout. That's why the clock stopped. We got the first. Okay, big time plays. Second and 10. Uh, I, dude, I'm on R1. What are you doing? Miles Garrett got the, in there pretty quick. It's going to be third and 18. Let's try a, a play that never works for me successfully. I'm averaging 1.9 yards per snap. Mike Kosicki's going to slant Preston Williams on the backside wheel. I'm going to slant Kenny Stills again. I'm just honestly praying for field goal range. Preston Williams downfield. It's not accurate. We had it crushed. Josh. 
Yeah, I I'm, don't even look at me. We're gonna have to punt now. We had we had maybe a long field goal, and now it's a punt. Here's the thing, though. You say all you want about my ability there. If Josh Rosen makes that throw, which he should have, that's a touchdown. So. I had the blitz, but I decided against it. They're going one-on-one. -on -one. Somebody make a play. Minka Fitzpatrick knocks the ball up into the air. Baker's first incompletion on the day. Would have loved for that to be an interception. He's taken some shots. Most of them have been successful. All of them, except for that one. Second and 10. For man coverage on Kareem Hunt. To blitz up the middle. There we go, baby. I need Xavier Howard to take Odell out of the game. I think we have a better chance against the rest of the guys. Raekwon McMillan, I was all over the screen no matter what. We blitzed it, which is when you want to call a screen. But Baker just didn't have the time. And we finally force a punt. We're only down by 14. Oh, that was almost blocked and you touched the punter. Ah, uh, this return's not going to matter. That's the kind of stuff that really bothers me. That's really, really frustrating because it's an auto first down. Yeah, you're bad, dude. That's that's trash, honestly. CPU screwed me. There's no way around it. I've been screwed. Oh my god, dude. Ah, that's unfortunate. I mean, that was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, missed hit sticks, missed tackle. Uh, first down for Cleveland. They're just moving the ball. We don't really have an answer for it. Their receiving core is too good. Because we key on Odell, we take him out. We still have Bobby McCain or Eric Rowe or Tory McTire against Jarvis Landry, Antonio Callaway, or Rashard Higgins. And Kareem Hunt's breaking tackles all day. I haven't even seen Nick Chubb yet. Doubt that we will. Third and goal. Going over the middle. I was in man coverage. Just a touchdown. David Njoku, another weapon I forgot about. Austin Corbett and David having the uh, time of their lives. 21 nothing. I should probably just quit, huh? That's the rule. It's a tough one, but I, I feel like this is kind of the way of the road. Can't can't really do much different. It's just kind of been like a few stuff unlucky. I really feel like I haven't made that many unforced errors. But the Browns are just way better. Third and nine. I'm going to block Jakeem Grant. Hopefully Kenny Stills gets open. There's a slant. Kenny, first down. There we go, baby. I need somebody to burn here. Hopefully it's Kenny Stills. Play action. <sighs> I try, I'm trying to get the football off. It's the beast out of Charlotte. Larry Ogunjobi. Preston Williams burned. What are you doing, Josh? Dude, you're pissing me off. That's what you're doing. That's wide open. I feel like Preston Williams gets open like a lot of plays. And I almost can never hit him. What is that? It was a bad decision, but like... At least have the, the decency to throw an interception accurately. Holy hell, dude. We'll punt again. <laughs> Every time I have an open guy and I read it correctly and throw it, Josh Rosen has no idea how to throw it accurately. I'm sure they're going to score in about a second. Let's switch this so Raekwon's blitzing. Oh! I thought that was a fumble. I'll take the big hit, though. Yeah, way to back up all the way, Eric Rowe. That's a great backpedal. Great reaction time to break on the ball as well. He had no clue what was going on. Didn't know what the route was. He thought it was a streak. We need better corners. We need better safety. Maybe safeties. Minka can play corner. Need better pass rushers. Need better defensive tackles. The user's as good as it can be, though. User pick easy reads. The cat in the hat. Jerome Baker with, what, his 11th interception on the season? His 4th or 5th touchdown? I'm interceptions all day. That's our first score of the game. Baker's first mistake. Threw it right at me. So I'm going to take that all day. Jerome Baker having a career year. If he's not Defensive Player of the Year, then my name's Charlie Brown. 
and it isn't so to screen i'm there i'm there i'm there good wrap up jerome baker big tfl tfl stands for too fucking late to throw that ball try me again second and 15 24 seconds to go maybe less now that's how time works they're gonna slow up to throw the ball here and go at kareem hunt i'm breaking on the route not allowing a completion if we can get a big sack here we might have testicular cancer big tackle i'm gonna call a timeout maybe jakeem grant can do something be faster jakeem yeah he's not and he's injured now <sighs> call a timeout for that to happen it's an interception whatever uh that hurts the stats Shaquem Grant dislocated his elbow, and I can't can't do anything because it's the end of the half. If that's on the screen for the rest of the game, you got to be kidding me, dude. Fix the game! And I've called a fair catch by accident. That's unfortunate. Don't really have a choice there. We got, we got to make the best out of nothing. It's going to be on the screen for the entire game. Hopefully it goes away if I press start. Mmm... Yikes. That's going to save. I got to restart app. All right, we're back. First and 10. Browns are in different uniforms now, and so are we. <laughs> oh, imagine skipping to the second like part of this and being, you're confused as anything. Um, all right, you restarted. I didn't. I wish I could have. I threw that. Gesicki caught it. Go, Gesicki! Oh, that was Gesicki. Also, let me tell you how hot this room is with this light. Oh, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? I, uh, you want to know how bad I am? I pressed triangle. That's not even an option. Miles Garrett gets there. Oh, shoot. Play action. They're fooled. Over the middle. It's not accurate. It's intercepted. What do you mean accurate? Accurate? Really? No, we got to go to replay now. If the game wants to lie. <sighs> Jesus, look at this. All right, so play action. I roll out. I find the open receiver. When I decide to throw this, look at all the free real estate. Nothing for miles. And then he air mails that up the field. Oh, I went for the hit stick. That's a bad idea. Make this tackle. Eric Rowe, big play. Kind of yanked him down, but sometimes you gotta be a little violent with him. We're still in this game somehow. After some real poor mistakes and awful throws and a change of jerseys <laughs> and a, a, like a weird freeze, we're still in the game. I don't like this play at all. We're gonna figure something else out. Second and 10. Uh, we're gonna take the one-on-one -on -one shot. Devontae Parker, go up and get it. Not quite, but I mean, that was kind of the best option. We need a first down here. I didn't really choose a play. We'll work with it. We'll play levels with Gesicki and Williams. One of those guys is going to go open. Open. It's going to be Preston Williams. He didn't quite get the first. It would be wise to punt here. You don't go for it from your own 17. But also, it's one yard and we're down by two touchdowns. Sometimes you have to screw conventional wisdom and play with your dangus. <laughs> I might be doing some of that later. No, <laughs> over the middle, Allen Hurd's first down. Big slant. Allen Hearns again, first down. I thought he was useless. But all he does is get first downs. Everyone hates Mark Walton at number nine. Guess what? He doesn't care. That's one of the worst spins I've ever seen. Tried to spin back into the hole. Never works. You gotta. You can't meet spin. You just gotta charge in there. Open. It's O'Leary. Great juke. Looking like uh, Edger and James. Rolling out. 
We're gonna check down. <sighs> We're not, because Rosen misses another wide open receiver. Every time I run any type of wheel route, Rosen forgets how to play quarterback. Oh man, that's gonna get undercut. Mike Kosicki, amazing! How did he haul that in? That's the end of the third quarter. I thought that was gonna get jumped and picked. Oh no, that's gonna be intercepted. I know it was not a great pass. It wasn't a good decision either. Um, like it was super inaccurate, but also it was a bad decision. Greedy Williams, that's gotta be a flag. Someone cue Hingle McCringleberry, man. That thing is, that's three pumps too many. Yeah, I mean, I want a turnover, and uh, I missed the hit stick and the strip, which was cool. Baker goes down. It's Jerome Baker, who also goes down. I said sack him. We finally got a sack. Field goal is good. We're down 24-7. It's been a tough game. I've accidentally onside recovered, and they're just going to kick it straight away. Uh, maybe this is gonna be a good blocking scheme. Oh, this is this is the glitch right here. That's a return to the game with a 25. That's a touchback. Sick. Over the middle. Caught by Allen Hearns. Go Allen. Touchdown, Allen Hearns. I just pressed a button and I prayed and it worked. 75 yards to the house and suddenly, miraculously, we are back in the game. Only down by 10 with five and a half minutes to go. It's crazy what happens when you score in 11 seconds. Oh, that can't be a first down. That's unfortunate. It's not a first. I mean, his yards per carry is not quite as good as I thought it was. He hasn't exactly been crushing us, but I feel like Kareem Hunt has such big gains on us today. Very odd. Third and two. Need to stop. They're going to throw the ball. And he catches it. Odell. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Another flag. Please be a hold. Or an illegal block in the back. Late. Clipping. Face mask. Sick. Thought we'd seen the last of those with my uh, new update to face mask being like 25, but they're back. Third and inches. This is worth a blitz here if we can get there. That's a big stop by Devon Godshaw, but I, I think they got the first. They did. Got half a, half a yard, maybe. Don't jump offside, Christian. How about that? Oh, Xavier Howard breaks on the ball, but a little bit too late. That's a that's a dot. Antonio Callaway finds the end zone. Cleveland gonna take a 31 to 14 lead, and that might be all she wrote. We needed a stop. We didn't get one. Third and 13, minute and 35 or so to go in the game. It's gonna be open over the middle. It's Preston Williams, big first down. He's been having a pretty good game. I've thrown three picks, but what are you going to do? That's my excuse. Just what are you going to do? Can we throw this in there? Nah, nah. Not at all. You got to take chances when you're down big with no time. Not that we we're going to come back anyway, but uh, maybe that wasn't it. That will be the game. Oh. Okay. I don't know why Kareem Hunt's so slow, because he had a touchdown very easily. They ran an end around. To Jarvis Land as savagery, honestly. But that is the game. 14 to 31 is your final. Another uh, game where we just didn't stand a chance. If I'm honest with you, Coach Dangus frustrated per usual and you know what alan hearns had a huge game alan hearns shocked the world shocked me at least josh rosen not his best day some of that's on me i won't lie to you kareem hunt was 
overall pretty good. We couldn't really get any type of ground game going. Receiving, Preston Williams led our team in catches. Touchdown for Alan Hearns, who had the most yards. Defensively, Jerome Baker, 10 tackles. Raekwon, kind of absent this game, but three tackles for loss for Jerome Baker. Also a sack and, and an interception uh, and a pass deflection and a touchdown. He is the best player on the team. Did I outro yet? It doesn't matter.